Hello everyone! You're about to watch the creating of a romantic, we can say even fairy tale forest background, foreground built out of uh, leaves, flowers, including butterflies and even a hummingbird. I've got pretty close footage this time, so stay with me in the next minutes and enjoy the first hand experience while I'm painting that mural. Okay, day two. I'm going to the place of the my project and it's a, a little bit unusual project but after downloading the equipment at the place this is actually the village zone at Haskovo I'm working for the same client that uh, I did a mural of a waterfalls landscape and uh, since it's not far away from where my mother lives, I downloaded the equipment yesterday and I started the mural. Now, this mural, this time, the mural is uh, something unusual for me to paint. Uh, I'm usually working with the airbrush and the spray gun almost for the entire project, but the um, clients asked me to to make something different, something old school style or even, well, we can say that murals, murals are something that the people do from very early ages, so we're not gonna call it old school, it's even an ancient style, it's something they always did with brushes, usually, so I'll go for that. Just for the background to make this uh, smooth transitions and this fadey background, I used the spray guns just for the background. But now today I'm about to start building these shapes of the bouquet at the foreground with with the brushes. Now, what is interesting to say is that unlike the mixing the colors for the spray gun where I have a certain container, I'm mixing two colors for the certain stage and then I'm spraying, then I need to wash the container out and then completely to be clean in order to produce, to create a new color. Uh, and not get it dirty, need to clean up the tank and again mix the new color. Well, I'm trying not to be lazy in that, but still it's hard to, you know, to, you, to mix too often colors. Even although I have a few spray guns, well, this is, this is a procedure, this is not just an easy step like when you're drawing with, with brushes. When you're drawing with brushes, you have your palette, you just mix your color, and here you go. You can, you can uh, create a new color for each other brush strokes, if you will. It's not, it's not like that when you're mixing a big quantity of paint for the spray gun. So, the benefit of painting a mural with brushes, you can make a much more greater of richness work from a perspective of the, of the color richness. That's one reason I'm looking forward with the excitement to make it really rich of colors and since I'm going to paint a bouquet of flowers there should be a lot of color mixed. I'm almost there so
not be described with a great precision in the shapes, but more more like a dynamic way of painting. If you if you go and look from a close distance, we'll notice definitely uh, many imperfections of the brush stroke. Somewhere is dried out, somewhere it's not in the right direction. But I figured out that uh, in order to to make things look like uh, really special, there should be highlights, a fine motifs here and there uh, at the str strategical places, the noticeable places that uh, the eye, the human eye, will stop and have some pleasure, you know, will focus at that place. I cannot say that there is definitely certain places to do that but it's like uh, when you look at those shapes you you'll find a spot where things like are kind of undeveloped or not finished and then I may decide to make a final touch there and to make some a certain really fine shape or stroke which will contribute for the finish of the landscape to make it look more like finished painting. Those might be the, for example, the places that are highlighted with the lightest color or that are sticking out of the, the shape of the whole unibody of the painting or just a fresh colored leaves that are distinguishing from the hole of the plant and standing out with brighter color and sharp edges. Sometimes I don't connect all the leaves together. Let them hanging in the air. You're not seeing in the real branches all the, the connections between the leaves. I don't need that. I need just to have suggestion to provoke its imagination. The rest will be built it out of the brain. Full picture don't need to be painted literally. It should be suggested. Some light dropping, like a ray is falling in them, like like coming through, like coming through and hitting some leaves like this.
Hey there, people. Don't want to make that video, this video tutorial to look like a teaser or something. Just, but just I'm aware of the fact that um, it's annoying to watch too long video on YouTube. So, um, having in mind that the footage from that video is at the half at that moment, I'm about to split it, make it two parts. So. If you're willing to see the final stage from that project, the finished product, you're welcome to, to do that by clicking at the at the thumbnail and at the end of that video. It should uh, appear right now. And if you like it, subscribe and hope to meet you in a future project. Bye.